God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Adesha. And welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. You are definitely in the right place if you are trying to find different ways to style your hair and also grow your hair and do more different protective styling. I got you, okay? So I just wanted to just kind of briefly, I'm not going to keep you here for long, I promise. I just wanted to briefly just tell you guys some natural hair tips that I have learned along my journey, okay? It's been a long journey. It has not been easy. I just felt like if I would have learned these tips sooner, then my hair would probably be like waist length by now. But I know if you are here, you've probably watched several other natural hair girlies, natural hair videos here on YouTube about natural hair growth tips, stuff like that, natural hair journeys. And you probably already heard some of the same things. Like, um, d just <laughs> hear me out here. I'm probably going to repeat the same thing. But we are repeating these same things because it is important. And these are things that we have learned on our, on our natural hair journey. And we're here to help you. So these are the things that I just want you to understand that have helped me on my journey. Everybody's hair is different. We are not the same. What works for me might not work for you. Like you probably already heard, don't use heat. Trim your ends. Deep condition weekly. You've probably already heard these things. But understand that these things are probably being repeated because you need to hear them because we're trying to help you grow your hair. With that being said, let's get into the first tip. All right, tip number one is to create a consistent hair care routine that works. All right, so I want to put emphasis on the word works. You need to create a hair care regimen that works for you. Now, you probably already know that you need a hair care routine. We know this. We've been natural for a minute now. So we know we're going to need a hair care routine. We're going to need a hair care routine for wash day. We need that. But you need to find something that works. Now, I say that because for the longest time, I had a hair care routine that was not working for me. For the longest time, I never understood why my hair stayed the same length for like three years. At that point, when your hair starts to stay the same length for a certain amount of years, a certain amount of time, you don't see any growth, you start to think like, hey, this is this, maybe this isn't in my genes. Like, my mother doesn't have long hair. I don't see anybody in my family with long hair. It's possible, okay? You can grow your hair past a certain length. You just need to create a hair care regimen that works. Now for me, in the beginning, I did all, I did the things that I thought I was supposed to do. I used shampoo, I conditioned, I did condition weekly. I did all of the things that I thought that were supposed to work for my natural hair. Okay, and then my hair is just not growing. Why? I don't know. <laughs> or at the time, I didn't know, but now I know. So you need to understand that you have to have a proper moisture to protein balance. You can't have more protein than you have moisture. Vice versa, you can't have more moisture than you have protein. So if, you have, if you're lacking protein, your hair is going to be weak and brittle. Protein is what gives our hair its strength. Moisture, on the other hand, is going to prevent dryness. And dry hair, as we all know, is what creates breakage. So if your hair is weak, it's going to break off. If it's brittle, it's going to break off. If it's dry, it's going to break off. All that breakage is going to cause you not to see any growth. So incorporate protein if you haven't been. Moisturize your hair more if you haven't been. 
So my hair care regimen now consists of me doing a hot oil treatment as a pre-poo every single wash day. Now that might be too time consuming for, for some people, but I literally do a hot oil treatment every single wash day as a pre-poo. I have low porosity hair, so heat is my best friend. Like indirect heat, like hooded dryers, steaming, stuff like that, that is my best friend, okay? So I do a hot oil treatment and then I shampoo my hair, condition, deep condition, and then I style. I like to use the LCO method, that's liquid cream oil to style my hair. I like to use that as a basis for styling my hair. Like every style I do, whether it's like a twist out, braid out, flexi rod set, I like to seal everything in with oil. Now that has really helped my hair a lot and I'm actually starting to see more growth. So keep that in mind if you feel like your hair is not growing and maybe you're not adding moisture or maybe you're not adding enough moisture and then maybe you're adding no protein. Um, so I also like to do like protein treatments every month or every two months. So I'll do a protein treatment and I'll list some of the protein treatments that I use like over here. But I will do a protein treatment like once a month or once every two months. And then my deep conditioner will have protein in it and it will be a moisturizing deep conditioner. And I deep condition weekly so that really helps. And I also list some really good um, deep conditioners that also have protein in them. So you can kind of like balance your hair out. Those, that is the, so number, tip number one, make sure you are creating a hair care regimen, a hair care routine that works, okay? You can deep condition your hair weekly and still be missing something. Like I was, I was missing that protein, something wasn't working and my hair just wasn't growing. And I believe it was because my hair was just too dry at certain points and it was weak. So I needed that protein and maybe that's something that you will need as well. So keep that in mind and let's go to tip number two. All right, tip number two, trim your hair more often if your hair is see-through. Now, if you have watched my Big Chop video, so if you're new, I big chopped maybe five, six months ago. This is a protective style. This is not my actual hair. Um, my hair probably stops. Probably like right here. But um, yeah, so this is a protective style. Um, I big chopped five, six months ago. Um, I almost lost my train of thought. So yeah, if you've seen that. See, if you've seen my Big Top video, then you know what I mean when I say see-through ends. If you place your hair up and if you can see through it and see your hand, more than likely that means your hair is see-through. But understand that that see-through hair is split ends. I didn't know that. I honestly did not know that. And people, like you, you probably already knew this, but I had no idea, okay? Like... I was somebody that just never trimmed her ends. I thought maybe if I had a hair care regimen or had a hair care routine, I thought I didn't need to trim my ends. Like I would watch natural hair growth videos and they would mainly mention trim your ends and I didn't do it. Like I don't know what I was going through at the moment at, or at that time. I didn't know what I was going through, but trim your ends and if you see that your ends are see-through those are split ends and split ends are going to continue to travel upward and upward okay and that's gonna cause so much hair breakage and it also caused my hair to actually thin out as well like I didn't really notice it I thought because my hair texture was like 4a I thought that that was just like how my hair was supposed to look but once I big chopped and got rid of those see-through ends I noticed that my hair was just so much thicker but yeah just make sure you are just trimming your hair more often if 
your ends are see-through. Now, if your ends are not see-through and your ends are healthy and thick, you don't have to trim your hair that much. Like you can trim your hair probably like two or three times out of the year. But if your ends are see-through, baby, like, let me tell you, my ends are still kind of see-through, not like they were before. Like, I don't care if I see it every week, if I see something that looks, if my ends look scraggly, ugly, mm, cut it off. But that's just me. I wouldn't recommend doing that because you actually want to see your hair grow. And if you're continuously cutting your hair, you're not going to see your hair growth as well. But I would recommend probably cutting your hair two or three months. Every, I would recommend trimming or like dusting your ends every two to three months. All right, so let's move on to the next tip, number three. All right, tip number three, do low manipulation free styling. What do I mean by that? Um, so you want to do hairstyles that require you not to put your hands in your hair that much. So you want to style your hair probably like Sunday, whatever your wash day is, Monday, Saturday, Friday, whatever your wash day is, you want to style your hair that, that day and leave your hair alone for the rest of the week. Like leave your hair in that style for the rest of the week. So you could do like twist outs, braid outs, um, wash and goes, mini twists. You don't have to add hair to your mini twists. You can definitely just do your own hair if it's long enough. Like I might actually do mini twists on my awkward length hair. I don't know, but we'll just see. Do styles that require low maintenance. You definitely don't want to keep messing with your hair and putting your hands in it. Just leave it alone. Let it be. Let it grow. Make sure you're just moisturizing your hair. If you do have mini twists or some protective style, make sure you moisturize your hair, okay, in that protective style. And make sure you're really moisturizing your hair when you style it that way it can be moisturized throughout the week so you do not have to continuously moisturize your hair and keep your hands in it so low maintenance low manipulation styles free styling whatever you want to call it do it okay you are definitely going to be able to see hair growth if you do those types of styles okay let's move on to tip number four the last and final tip all right tip number four um for me this is a really personal tip honestly but i really just want to share this because if i would have known this years ago my hair would be so much longer but if you are really trying to grow your hair like really trying to go your hair grow your hair stay away from the temptation of constant hair dying stay away from hair dye okay don't do it don't do it don't do it i understand you want something new something different you, you probably get are getting tired of how your hair looks but stay away from it okay stay away from that temptation and understand that your hair is beautiful the color that god gave you okay the hair that god the hair color that god gave you is beautiful he created us in his own image okay so your hair is beautiful okay your hair color is beautiful too just like you are you're beautiful you do not have to change your hair color. Just stay away from hair dye. Okay, and I'm going to just briefly talk about my experience and why I, I'm saying this. Because I know some people are going to be like, well, I've seen some people dye their hair and it still grows. And and you can still dye your hair and take care of it. And, 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 uh, and you can still do that. Like, I mean, truthfully, yeah, you can still do that. But in my opinion, don't. If you are really trying to see hair growth, like if you want your hair to be a certain length, like waist length, bra strap length, just stay away from the chemicals, stay away from hair dye. Simple. And I say that because I have had such a long journey of being natural and I've made so many mistakes. And I'm here making this video because I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I did. Like my hair would be so much longer, so much longer 
and I wouldn't have had to big chop my hair. My hair was thriving, good, bleached it, dyed it red, and then let it grow out for a year, and then I dyed it back black, and then after I dyed it black, I decided to bleach it again. So I bleached my hair again, went back to black. During that time where my hair was bleached and I went back to black the second time, that was, I filmed that video on my channel and that is probably one of the most viewed videos on my channel today. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here so you guys can see how beautiful my hair looked at the time. Okay, so yeah, that is actually my last and final tip. Um, but I will say that every person has hair that is growing. Like our hair grows unless you have some type of medical condition. But outside of that, your hair is going to grow. Our hair grows. The problem is that we are not doing the necessary things to retain that length in order to see our hair grow. Hopefully you will implement some of these tips and maybe um, start doing hot oil treatments, adding more protein, trimming your ends. Yeah, I didn't wanna spend too much time talking about this, but these were really some tips that have helped me along the way. Like after I big chop, that was when I actually finally realized how to actually properly take care of my hair. Thank you guys for watching this video, staying with me till the end. And as always, don't forget to give God the glory because we would not be where we are today without him, the big man above. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.